Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chi Life. Um, as you know, this is a reasonably new vlog, and its content is still evolving. I'm hoping to um, to talk about things that are reasonably interesting, all to do with Chi, Chi Gong, and life. Uh, hence the title, um, and and also just you know, whatever's going on with me, particularly in relationship to teaching Qigong and things like that as well. So this video is just a little bit of an update about uh, current developments. Um, just a very small thing uh, that yesterday I started a Facebook group and it's called Qigong Every Day. So uh, some of you might be interested in that. So if you look up Qigong Every Day, um, in Facebook, uh, you can you can join the group if you're interested. And I guess for a long time, you know, different people have have sort of talked to me or asked about you know different ways for students to communicate with each other about their qigong and what they're doing. And it is something that I've I've had in mind for quite some time to have something to, to create more communication between students, uh, particularly because I'm, I'm teaching uh, Qigong courses all the time, online Qigong courses, and to facilitate more of that communication between students. But I have hesitated um, because I've seen so often, uh, well, in terms of using something on Facebook, I've hesitated because I've seen so often that, you know, groups can get a bit out of control and they can be a bit of, bit of the wild west and all sorts of things can go on in them and I haven't wanted that for my courses uh, where the the learning is very structured you know and 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 hopefully all productive moving forwards and, and, it, and it's good to have control over that communication to some extent to, to, to keep it headed in that direction whereas the, the Facebook groups and things get not as controlled but you know I thought about it and I thought you know there'd be real value in having a group not necessarily for the courses but just as a general way for people to communicate with each other about their qigong and more as something for support and encouragement and um and inspiration as well and so that's what i hope this group is going to be and it's not just for long white cloud qigong students either it's for anyone from any school uh, any style um it, i mean people are going to discuss different things on it i'm sure but probably so much for the for the deep theoretical discussions and so on, and more for support, encouragement, updates to help remind people to practice qigong every day. Because I know it can be difficult to practice every day. Um, sometimes people have, you know, ideas that because I'm teaching qigong that somehow my life must be perfect and I'm never too busy and you know, things like that, and that's not how it is. I'm often very, very busy, and particularly over the last few years, extremely busy. And I know during those times how hard it can be sometimes to actually get your Qigong practice in. At the moment, it's not so bad. I'm, I'm managing to practice regularly and for, you know, quite decent practice sessions. But I've had lots of times when it's been hard, and, and it's been a matter of just pra fitting in just a little bit of Qigong practice in order to keep things going, and times when I haven't practiced as well. And boy, do I notice the difference between even just a few minutes, five minutes of Qigong, and the benefit that can bring if you're able to do just a little bit regularly, um, if not more, of course. So the idea is to create a, a forum, uh, a group where people can, can encourage each other, support each other, and remind themselves to do regular Qigong practice. And uh, yeah, I've been amazed at the response. You know, it's less than 24 hours that it's been up and we have, well, I think coming up on 250 members or something like that already. And not only do we have those members, but um, they're, they're posting, they're, they're leaving comments and putting their own posts in, which is awesome to see that enthusiasm. So I think it's gonna be a really good resource for people going forwards and, and that people will share comments to each other but also resources um, different ideas exercises, and things that people can do and things like that and that's actually one of the things that I'm going to do today as well I did uh, tell someone yesterday that I'd post a short video um, of, a, of a very short simple practice uh, and gentle practice that they might use to get started um, and it's one that I used a lot or have used a lot 
when I have been really struggling for time, but I want something that I know is going to help me feel better and get my energy flowing. So I don't think I'll do that in this video. I think I'll do that as a separate video. So it's easy for people to, um, you know, just watch that. They don't necessarily want to listen to me talk a whole lot. But um, that's called Five Waves. And it'll probably be the video I post straight after that, so you, after this one. So you might be interested to check that out. Um, I think that's the main developments at the moment. Of course, we've got another round of online courses starting. Some starting this weekend, some the week after. So lots of things dealing with registrations with that. Um, one of the other things I'm, I'm sort of working with at the moment is... Um, I'm actually struggling a little bit to make as much progress uh, with with some of the work that I'm doing to developing course material um, as I would like to because my priority is I'm working on the Introduction to Qigong Healing course. Uh, I have got quite a few people waiting for that and I want to make that available soon. And so it's high priority. Um, but I, 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 it takes so much time uh, dealing with correspondence and uh, things relating to the existing courses that I have running uh, that I am making some progress but not nearly as much progress as, as I, I would hope I would in getting that course material ready and um, you know obviously that's something that's affecting me right now being able to do that but also into the future, I, I, I'm really going to need to look at some different some solutions, some ways to, to organize things um, so that I can have, have enough free time and free you know, mental space and energy to be able to develop the course material that I want to because there's so much more that I want to offer, not just in terms of course, ma course material, some other training things as well. And I want to be able to offer them but very difficult to do that when it's taking so much of my time uh, running the other courses and doing things like that. So I don't really have anything to announce about that at the moment, but change will be coming. Um, probably not until the end of the year, mainly. There might be a few things that come before then, um, but I, I, I need to restructure things to so that I can teach all the things that I want to teach and be able to do it in a sustainable way. Anyway, I think that about covers it for now. I'm going to figure out a nice spot for, for me to make this other video um, so that I can put the five waves practice up. So just a little update if you have any comments about, you know, things that would be cool. Drop them below. Maybe not the most fascinating of vlogs this one that's okay i'm sure i'm going to have some other interesting topics coming up soon i look forward to seeing you on the next one